Using your Kaboo light is easy, let us show you how. Always use Kaboo safely. Before using your Kaboo for the first time, please read through your printed instructions, paying special attention to the safety precautions and warnings. These are designed to ensure safe carrying at all times. If you need to thread the rings before use, take the carrier out of the bag and place it over your shoulders, reinforce panel section to the back. Take the strap over your left shoulder across your body and thread through both rings. Then take the end of the strap and thread it back through the front top ring. To test whether you have threaded them correctly, pull on the fabric behind the rings. It should stay firmly in place. Then repeat the steps right to left. Special note for breastfeeding mums. Rethread the rings to alternate sides when breastfeeding. Make sure baby's not in the carrier. Pull the fabric of the inner strap out of the rings. Take it back across you over the top of the opposite strap and rethread the same rings. Pull on the ends of the hammock straps to tighten. Putting on your Kaboo light. Take the carrier hammock out of the bag and hold the carrier out in front of you. The Kaboo logo should be facing you reading the right way up. Place the carrier over your head like a t-shirt. Your arm should go out through the sides and head through the middle. Pull the carrier down at the back panel or feed it back over your shoulders ensuring that none of the fabric is twisted. The back panel should be in your mid to low back. Tighten the carrier by pulling down and forward evenly on both straps leaving just enough room to get your baby in. It is important that it's not too loose. To check you have left enough room simply place your hands behind the straps. You should be able to stretch the fabric approximately 10 to 12 centimetres clear from your chest, no more. Take some time to identify the inner strap. This is the strap that runs closest to your body. The other is referred to as your outer strap. To loosen the fabric at any time, lift the visible front top ring up and outwards and pull back the fabric above the ring to lengthen the strap. Upright chest to chest position. Always check you have left 10 to 12 centimetres space between you and the carrier. Pick baby up and support them with one hand high over your shoulder on the outer strap side. Use your free hand to reach under the top part of the inner strap, slide it down and guide your baby's legs through. Transfer your baby to the opposite shoulder, supporting their head and collect the other leg through the outer strap. Lower baby's bottom down inside the cross created by the straps, making sure the straps of the cross are located behind baby's knees. Spread the straps in a strap first, fully and evenly from behind baby's knee, all across your baby's back and shoulders to the back of baby's other knee so they sit in a frog-legged or M position. that is with their knees higher than their bottom. If you find the top or bottom rail is gaping, simply follow either rail to the ring and pull through the ring section to tighten.
For a younger baby needing head support, tilt baby's head back and lay their cheek against your chest to ensure they have free flowing air. Their chin should be clear of their chest by a minimum of one and a half fingers. Then support baby's head by simply spreading the fabric from the shoulder closest to them behind their head. Turn the bag inside out to make it into the wrap. Then place the wrap around you both with the tightest, shortest, elasticated edge always at the bottom near your baby's legs. The close logo tab will be at the top of the wrap. Pull tightly and tie securely in a double knot behind your back. Spread the material out to bring the top elasticated edge level with the top of baby's shoulders and bring the bottom elasticated edge down under your baby's bottom. If your baby is very small it may come down over their feet. The supporting wrap should always be used in this position. The loose ends of the straps may be tied to the front or behind you. Removing your baby and taking the carrier off. Untie and take off the wrap. Loosen the ring slightly to release the fabric. Support your baby with one hand while you pull the fabric back with the other until you can get under each arm. And cupped behind the head for a newborn. Then simply lift them up and away from you to free the legs. Put baby down safely. Then to take off your caboose, simply run your hands down under the lower straps of the hammock and take off over your head. Seated feeding support. Please note that this should only be used when seated for breastfeeding and not as a carrying position. Put the carrier on, bearing in mind the straps may need to be a little looser than in the upright position to get baby in. Always check if you have left 12 to 14 centimetres space between you and the carrier. Leave the inner strap where it is and slide the outer strap down off the shoulder. Create a hammock with the inner strap keeping one edge of fabric next to your neck. Pull the opposite edge down and then fold it back up onto the shoulder. Pick up baby and support them with one hand high over the free shoulder. Take hold of the outer edge of the hammock with your free hand to make room for baby. Lower baby down into the hammock area bottom first, making sure their bottom sits in the deepest part. Lay baby back across you. Using your free hand, check there is ample fabric on both the top and bottom rails of the hammock along the length of their body. When breastfeeding your baby, you can tilt them towards you by placing baby's arm closest to you down a little, resting around your waist. When you have baby in the correct position, pull the outer strap back up over your shoulder while spreading lower fabric out to support baby. Make sure baby's feet are away from the rings, then tighten and tie. Please note this is a seated position for nursing only, not a carrying position. If baby's feet are protruding beyond the carrier, extra care must be exercised. Always ensure baby has free flowing air whilst feeding. Removing your baby and taking the carrier off. Supporting baby firmly, slide the outer strap off your shoulder. Place one hand between the inner strap and baby's bottom, with the other hand gently pull the fabric away from baby so you can put your hand behind their head. Then lift your baby up and out.
hip position for babies five months plus. Hold the carrier in front of you with the back panel facing you. Rotate the back panel 90 degrees. Rotate right if you want to carry on the left hip and left if on the right hip. So both sets of rings are together to the outside of one hand and the straps are together outside of the hand. Put your arm and head through the straps on the side opposite the rings. The back panel should sit on your shoulder with both sets of rings to the front of your chest. Bring your arm on the ring side through between the rings so the outermost strap sits behind you. Slide the back panel back slightly if required. The rings at the front should sit about 10 centimetres down from your shoulder. Place baby up high on the shoulder opposite the rings and locate the lower strap around your waist. Open the fabric to form a pouch for baby to sit in. Bring both baby's legs through the strap so that baby is sitting in the pouch and spread the fabric high up around baby's back. Ensure the fabric is spread completely underneath baby's bottom and to the backs of both their knees. Baby should be seated in the frog legged or M position with their knees higher than their bottom. Locate the upper strap, lifting this over baby's head and around baby. Spread the straps all the way across baby's back, making sure that the fabric is fully spread out again underneath baby's bottom and to the backs of their knees. You should hold baby in the position you prefer and tighten the sling around him until you can remove your arms without losing the position. To tighten, pull the fabric through either set of rings to adjust accordingly. Baby should be sitting upright and not leaning away from your body. You can then tie the outer wrap around you and baby for extra support. For neatness, you can tie the ends of the hammock straps together if you wish. Warning, please make sure baby's fingers are clear of the rings when tightening. To avoid entrapment, you can thread the spare fabric through the top ring to clear it up. Removing your baby and taking the carrier off. Untie and take off the wrap. Loosen the rings slightly to release the fabric. Support your baby with one hand while you pull the fabric back while the other until you can get under each arm, then simply lift them up and away from you to free the legs. Put baby down safely before you take off your kaboo over your head. Whenever you kaboo, don't forget the ticks. These simple guidelines are designed to help you always carry safely. T is for tight. Slings and carriers should be tight enough to hug your baby close to you, as this will be most comfortable for you both. I is for in view at all times. You should always be able to see your baby's face by simply glancing down. C is for close enough to kiss. Your baby's head should be as close to your chin as is comfortable. K is for keep chin off the chest. A baby should never be curled so their chin is forced onto their chest as this can restrict their breathing. S is for supported back. In an upright carrier, a baby should be held comfortably close to the wearer so their back is supported in its natural position and their tummy and chest are against you. It is important not to overdress the little one when carrying. Remember your body heat will help keep them warm so dress them down layer and never cover a baby's head or face with an item of your own clothing or anything else. Why carry when you can kaboo? 